Hello, Bookworm family. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Danny. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I don't even know when I post anymore, to be honest. So you should get notified when I do. Um, and if you're not already following me on Instagram, please be sure to do that. It is at the underscore dancing underscore bookworm. I post on there sometimes. That's not a great intro, but it's true. Okay, so you guys know, uh, first of all, disclaimer, I am at work, um, hence the bar and the purple wall and all that, um, but I am at work, but there are no children here, which is why I'm not wearing a mask, um, and then I will disinfect the very small box that I am sitting in right now after um, when they get here, or before they get here, um, before they get here, so the Everything is clean and sanitary for them. But I still have like 20 minutes before a kid comes. So that's exciting. Um, so anywho, um, I wanted to just give a quick life update because I said I would at the end of the month because you guys know for the month of September, I took a break, stepped back from reading, stepped back from YouTube, stepped back from Instagram to just really focus on work, which has been going great. I have some really awesome kids this year. Uh, my dances are already starting to look good, which never happens. So cool about that. Uh, normally it takes like months for them to start looking good, but people are really like, I think they must dance because they are like on top of it this year, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, I wanted to tell you guys some stuff that's happened because September has been a roller coaster and at the end of this video I will explain kind of what October is gonna look like um, this is not going to be a very long video but just a little update for you guys so anyway um, as I said in the beginning of the month I was not doing Booker D I was not participating in any readathons um, I lied about the readathons I did actually end up participating in the adventures in Wonderland readathon um, which was fun I have not finished yet but I still have a few days left of the month so I will end up finishing it but it was all middle grade books so it made things so much easier so much easier to just read through middle grades. I also read a lot of like poetry middle grades as well. Um, and I have also read a couple, um, well, not really read a couple, but like read like one young adult on audiobook. Um, yeah, so it hasn't been a great reading month yet. I'm hoping this weekend I can really sit down and focus on reading, but life just got in the way and it got in the way in good ways and bad ways. So I'm excited to tell you guys about that right now. So, um, yeah, a couple things. So I have been working, obviously. I've also been taking my adult classes. Um, this year I did take a step back from tap because I wanted more hours to teach. Um, so I am not taking tap this year. I am also also not teaching hip-hop this year because a lot of our adults just weren't comfortable coming back yet which is totally cool um, with COVID and everything so we do have smaller adult glasses this year but still having fun um, the exciting thing is my best friend from high school um, actually we've been like best friends since like preschool I think we've known each other like our whole lives um, but we she actually started taking adult ballet with me um, and so she's been there she's only taken one class so far but she plans on coming back and bringing a friend as well so it's exciting to kind of get some time to hang out with friends, uh, which I don't normally get to do because my schedule is so crazy. Um, my schedule is crazy because I am homeschooling my nieces and nephews still. Um, not homeschooling, they do go to school two days a week, but then when they do virtual school, it's three days a week. But because they're so young, um, Jacob's only in kindergarten and Ava's in second grade. Um, Ava's, a lot of it is online that she doesn't need a parent help but Jacobs is completely like needs parent help um, because he doesn't know how to do it on his own so it's a lot of work <laughs> um, and I don't think I liked kindergarten or second grade the first time so you know cool um, <laughs> but I am doing my best to help them out um, I watch them from 7 7 7 30 ish um, until uh, 3 four every day depending on the day and then I go right to work um some days I come to work early and teach a school program where I am teaching music and voice right now to a group of kids who are coming here for virtual learning um but then I also am doing um kind of like a <clears throat> sorry brain freeze I don't actually know if I'm gonna edit that out or not that's just my life. I just have brain freeze. Um, but then I'm also teaching dance. That's what I was trying to say there. Probably not going to edit that out because I, yeah, 
don't wanna. <laughs> so you guys can just see that I get brain freeze all the time. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, I've been teaching dance on top of that. I teach dance till about 9.30, 10 at night, depending on the day. Um, sometimes I get out a little earlier than that, but for the most part, I'm here till 9.30, 10. So uh, yeah, so then I only have Saturday afternoon, so I get out at 2.30 on Saturdays, um, and then Sunday's off. So Sundays were supposed to be my reading day. Um, but, uh, the first couple Sundays I really focused on choreography and then I also got back into the dating world. So, uh, yeah. And by got back into the dating world, I mean one person, but you know, it's been exciting and, um, uh, looking forward to sharing updates w with you with that if it continues. So yeah, um, that is my, that is all the details you guys get for right now because yeah. Um, on top of that also, so you guys know that I had a friend who really encouraged my reading. We picked, uh, she picked a lot of my like text a friend stuff for Bookerty, um, and other stuff. We actually have parted ways. Um, it sounds so dumb to be like, we're not friends anymore, but like, uh, you know, like I think that this is a good opportunity for me to talk about like when somebody in your life thinks you are toxic and you think they're toxic and you're constantly fighting to like keep it together it's probably not the best relationship and you guys like when you think somebody's toxic in your life i think you i think everybody kind of thinks like oh they're the worst person in the world i don't think she's the worst person in the world i think that there are far worse people in the world um but i do think that where i'm at in life and where she's at in life were very different places and we needed that separation. And I think that because of that separation, I have been able to open myself up to some more new things and really like become a better person. Um, I don't know if she was holding me back from that or if I was just feeling um, like I constantly had to be someone that I wasn't because of her. Um, again, she also views me as a toxic person and I think, I don't think of myself as a bad person, um, but maybe in that particular relationship I was toxic and that happens. So I just want you guys to know that like, if somebody says you're a toxic person in their life, um, doesn't make you a bad person, it just makes you maybe not right for that person and that's okay. Um, and I think that that was the situation between us. We have parted ways. Um, I don't know if there will ever be a change to that. I don't know if the stuff that went down can ever be forgiven as in, I don't know if I can forgive her. Um, but yeah, so I think that that's, it's unfortunate. Um, it was very distracting. It took up a lot of my energy and my time. Um, but it's been about two weeks now maybe three, maybe three, since it all went down and I am feeling a little bit freer and a little bit more able to embrace who I am and what I want in life. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, as far as October goes, I do not know what I'm going to be posting. I do plan to post uh, a September wrap up. I do plan to post that, but um, as far as Booker D, I don't know. I guess it'll be a surprise. Um, I do want to kind of focus on some of the more exciting new things that have been happening and work. So we'll see. Um, I will try to keep you guys updated as much as possible. I just wanted to jump on here, let you guys know that I have not forgotten about the YouTube or my Instagram, but because my friend who I have parted ways with was such a big part of my reading and kind of got me into reading um, it was a little bit harder this month to kind of focus on that because it was a very upsetting situation, but lots of other good things have happened this month and I'm excited to see what comes of all of it. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will keep you updated best I can. Um, please be checking my Instagram because even if I don't post on here, um, I will post up wrap-ups and all that at the end of the month on Instagram. So yeah, please be checking that and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!